we light a candle for our fallen and broken warriors. We raise a flag for the resilient. We pop a drink for the successful. together to celebrate one another. We fight living with sickle cell. We conquer because we are warriors. Being a sickler in the Bahamas is rough, especially when it comes to pain management. Narcotics isn't something that you're going to get no matter how much pain you're in. Even in hospitals, you get IV, um, what's the thing drug called? IV Voltarian and IV Beralgin, sorry. But to say get narcotic painkillers to help with the pain, no, it's not happening. You will die first before they do it. I went to the emergency room for pain and I clearly told them that I have sickle cell and they had my record on file. I was in pain 12 hours straight before another doctor came in and ordered me IV medication. One of the nurses told me that if I had been taking my pain medication every day, I would not be in pain right now. When I was a teenager, I had to go to the hospital because of a crisis. And instead of the doctors following the plan that had apparently been set out for people with sickle cell, I had to wait hours and hours before being attended to instead of being attended to immediately. I once had an excruciating pain and I remember the doctor was about administering paracetamol injection, which I objected to, yes, because of the pain level, it was that bad. And yeah, they refused and it would have just been fine that way, but they went ahead accusing me of addiction, saying that's the only way I know of other injections. That was shocking to hear. It broke me and I had to discharge myself, walk over with the pain. I wasn't given anticoagulant, third day post-op, second hip replacement. Thank God I was aware. But I couldn't help but wonder, 25% of people died through sudden death from blood clot, from sickle cell and it is wrong practice thank you i went into the hospital for an admission for sickle cell crisis and the hematologist asked me where my pain level was at i told her it was at an eight she said i should be administered morphine i told her that i react to morphine and she insisted that that is the pain management protocol for their sickle cell patients i refused and she didn't offer any other suggestions so i had to discharge myself against medical advice after days of being in pain while in college, I went to the nearest hospital. The nurses was being very rude and claimed I was another student trying to get drugs. She mishandled me by throwing my arm around and jerking it before finding a vein. She also scored a half of my medication on the floor, so I never received the proper help to ease the pain. This is just one of many incidents living with sickle cell. New sickle cell uh, pa parents, your child has just been diagnosed with sickle cell. Please do your best to listen to them always. You believe them always. Okay, thank you and happy World Sickle Cell Day. My name is like Mark Tioden. I'm a clinical psychologist. My name is Usman Joy Danjima. I'm a counseling psychologist. My name is Vonfa Haruna Mamdam. 
I'm a conflict manager. My name is Awaita Atebo. I am a freelance screenwriter. And I'm living with sickle cell disease. But I'm not a sickler. I have sickle cell disease. I am not a walking corpse. I have sickle cell disease, but I'm not a sickler. Neither am I a walking corpse. A sickle cell patient is not a walking corpse. We're all human. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm human and I'm a survivor.